Hello and welcome to web learning where knowledge is shared. Some viewers asked me to explain a little bit more about scan and scan continuous and this is what I'll do today. Regular scan will start, read different channels and will stop. Scan continuous will start, read different channels and will start all over again. The previous videos I covered the single and the single continuous. It's really important before you go on to have a look at the video that I made on the Cubemix and also about the ADC. In today's video I won't explain those things so it's really important to have a look at those videos so you can better understand what I'm talking about. I already opened the Cube IDE, file new STM32 project. There is a big difference between the L0 and the L4 devices. Let me start with the L0 and then I'll go to the L4. So as always L053 Next, let's give it the name and finish. I'm opening the ADC. Let's choose few ADCs and let's see what we have in the configuration. So we have the continuous conversion mode. We can enable it or disable it. Again, we have some info window here that we can disappear. And we have the discontinuous conversion mode. We can either enable it or, or disable it. It's always good to use the DMA continuous request when dealing with one or more channels. Like this, you'll have all the information in your buffer when you finish reading all the ADCs. For now, this is disabled because we have to add the buffer. And after finishing the buffer, going back to parameter settings, we can enable it. Again, as I said before, this has already been covered in the ADC in my previous videos. So there is not much to show here. The biggest difference when you do continuous conversion, if you enable this, when you start the ADC, it will cycle between all the pins in a continuous mode, starting from in, in 0 to in 1, in 4, 6, 7, and whatever you have lighted. Let's go to the L4 and see what are the differences. File new, STM32 project, L476, next, ADC, L4. Finish, yes, yes. So here's the L4. Let's go to A to Z, ADC, and let's see what the differences are. So again, I'm going to highlight few inputs of the ADC. I'll use single ended. Let's open up the configuration. Here again, we have the DMA settings and everything. And we can have the continuous conversion mode and discontinuous and DMA continuous request. So DMA continuous request is disabled. If we go to the DMA, click add, add the ADC, highlight the ADC DMA channel, and then go back to parameter settings. We have it enabled. Again, we can see the information down here or we can turn it off. We can decide if we want to do a scan conversion mode. Now it's disabled. Continuous conversion mode or discontinuous conversion mode. In the L4, we also have the number of conversions. We can increase the number of conversion to 2, 3, 4, 5, depending on how many we want. And then we can set them by rank. We have rank 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that's corresponding to the number of conversions. In each rank, we can decide on which channel we want to have the ADC read. So you see we have all the channels that we chose. We don't have to choose all of them. We can do also a number of conversion to some of the channels. And on the L4, we don't have to have them in a sequence number. For example, we can have rank 1 for channel 2. We can decide on the sampling time, for example, 92.5 cycles. And then in rank 2, we can open this up. We can have it as channel 5. Again, we can decide on how many cycles it will take to do the ADC. In this type of a scenario, when we run the ADC, the ADC will start with channel 2, then it will go to channel 5, 
gen to channel 1, channel 11, and back to channel 5, or we can have it to channel 3, or any other channel that we want to. We can also set the speed of each channel, how long it will take to sample and hold. As you can see, the scan conversion mode is now enabled because we enabled the number of conversions. All we need to do now is just generate the code and implement the start ADC as shown in my previous videos. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think or if you have any questions.